time for the main event. And by main event, I mean it's time for Stump the Artist. Thank you for Chad providing me with my opening line today, although I don't know who Bruce Buffer is. Welcome to Stump the Artist. My name is Roxanne, your friendly neighborhood librarian or not, depending on where you live. And you know, depending on the day. Anyway, off topic now. I'm joined over the internet e waves with our friend Paul. Hello, hey, what's Paul. up, folks? It's, it's a nice day for once. It is a nice day for once. I like it. It was rainy and horrible for days. Oh, yeah. Not today. Not today. Not today. <laughs> Not today, Satan. Um, yeah, it's like the the one, one of like two or maybe three nice weeks of the year in our fair city. Yes. And, and by yeah. fair city, I mean cloudy, <laughs> cloudy, rainy city. Yeah, fair. Fair is the correct word <laughs> to describe our weather. So welcome to Stunt the Artist, the, the premise of which you may be familiar with evil overlords. Dang those evil overlords taking our, our funding captive. How dare they? How so mean, and they don't get any better. No. It's like they do this all the time for fun. For fun. Um, I hate them. I, you know what? I don't want to use the word hate, but I get it. In this context, I understand. Yeah. And so in order to placate their, their evilness, we have to come up with media properties and books at all for them to profit off of. Because that's evil for you, baby. Maybe evil one day. Sleep. <laughs> Maybe one day they will uh, release us from this, this prison of our own non-making. Our own unmaking. All right. There we go. Okay. So going, dismissing that, we're going to start on a little bit of a weird one. Uh, right before we started recording, I was reading something on Reddit, appropriate, um, and it was somebody wrote in a comment, he is dumber than a bag of hammers. Yeah. And being kind of tired, I misread it as dumber than a bag of hamsters. <laughs> and it is so incredibly inaccurate, but it has such beautiful imagery. It does. It does. Like, okay, I don't know the intellect level of hamsters. <laughs> But I think it's fair to assume that they're not smart, and a whole bag is <laughs> still not going to be that smart. Yeah, I mean, you, don't, you never hear about a bag of hamsters being entrusted to eventually write the works of Shakespeare. <laughs> right, exactly, exactly. <laughs> so that's what, that's what we're going to start with tonight. Mm -hmm. Is a bag of hamsters. Bag of <laughs> dumb hamsters. Let's see where we go. <laughs> oh my god. So, Paul, I won't trust you to get started on the bag of hamsters. And I, I will mm -hmm. provide the librarian knowledge here, <laughs> which is what a malapropism is. And I will quickly write it down here. So a malaprop, or a malapropism, if you look here at mal meaning bad, um, and then aprop meaning like appropriate, and then ism. And I'm going to quick double check that things are showing up. There we go. Um, so mal meaning bad, and a prop meaning appropriate in ism. So it's a, basically a phrase that is said incorrectly. It is used inappropriately. 
So you can you can call it a malaprop or a malapropism. Um, so in this case, me misreading the phrase "dumber than a bag of hammers" <laughs> into "dumber than a bag of hamsters." is an excellent example of a malapropism. <laughs> um, other, generally speaking, it's when you say a phrase, and instead of saying the correct word, you say a similar sounding word that completely changes the meaning. So, in this case, hamsters instead of hammers. <laughs> God. I can't get over... I can't get over it. Uh, and it should be the actual saying. Oh man! I mean, we can we can make a push for it this time. I'm gonna turn up the music a little because I feel like it's very quiet. Um, you know, maybe after this this creation, <laughs> inspired by a dumb bag of hamsters. <laughs> we'll be able to start getting it to catch on. Uh, <laughs> I hope so. Uh, like the hammers hammers don't aren't don't have any intellect. So it's like how good of how good of uh, of a saying is it? You know? Right. It's not it's not relatable cuz they aren't animate. Uh, whereas hamsters are typically alive. Therefore, you have a better gauge of their intellect. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, if you are familiar with, with the works of Shakespeare at all, if you go back to, I believe, Much Ado About Nothing, which is one of Shakespeare's comedies, there is a character, I believe, Cap Captain? Constable. It might be Constable Dogberry, but his name is Dogberry, and because he is um, a buffoon, he is a he is a buffoon cop. He speaks in malapropisms, so he gets all the famous sayings wrong. And if you want to see Pittsburgh darling uh, Michael Keaton in a comedic role, he plays Dogberry and has very strange teeth, but is very funny because it's easy to forget that Michael Keaton. Once, I believe he initially trained as a clown. Wow, I didn't know that at all. Yep. I have... I am just an info dump, despite the fact that my brain was not able <laughs> <laughs> to, uh, to, to calculate a bag of hammers. It would instead turned it into a bag of hamsters. <laughs> A blessing in disguise. A <laughs> like a bag of hamsters might be. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it would be very cute. For sure. I imagine. For sure. Now, as a as a pet skeptic, mm. I will say that anything smaller than a cat does not make a whole lot of sense to me. Mm -hmm. uh, and hamsters, I, f I believe, are... We'll say prone to death. Right. I feel like. Well, I, th I think part of that is, like, the appeal. I feel like they're especially popular to give them to kids. Yes. So I feel like the part of that appeal is watching them go through like the habit trails. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, all the tubes and whatnot. Um, yeah. 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 And the wheels. Yes. But, you know, they're also, because they're often entrusted to children, they don't necessarily have the most adept of caretakers. Um, right. I, my sister had hamsters. I believe... I don't know how they all died, but I do believe that at least one hamster ate another hamster. Good lord. <laughs> Yes. That's the first I've ever heard of anything like that. Yes. So I guess the the other thing is that they might sometimes be be cannibals. So 
It may be a dumb bag of hamsters, but they have some amount of cunning to be able to act in such savagery. Or they are so dumb they that particular hamster was not able to recognize the other hamster as a hamster. To make things less morbid, I keep thinking about Hamtaro. Do you remember that anime at all? I never saw it, but I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. I don't remember, like, if I actually watched, like, more than five episodes or something. I think I looked at it mostly as an oddity. I mean, like, is this actually about hamsters? And it was about hamsters. And it was indeed about hamsters. And that they talked and they had the really big eyes, which is kind of what I was channeling down there. Yeah. But other than that, like, I was just kind of perplexed that there was an anime about, about hamsters. You know, yeah, anthropomorphic hamsters. I agree, chat. Fish are. can be cool. Yes, fish can be cool. I, I agree. Um. I, whenever I go to a, um, uh, an aquarium, it's a good time. It's a lot of cool different ones, whereas maybe there is with hamsters. I just don't know. I just don't know. <laughs> just, oh, who, who knows? I feel like this bag needs to be labeled in some way, and I don't know. <laughs> don't open dumb hamsters inside <laughs> like the 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 doors in um, uh, the the walking dead <laughs> don't yes. ha don't hamsters open inside uh, <laughs> <laughs> hi artists hello Webby. welcome we were you 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 belatedly missed the lesson on malapropisms which is a very weird opening for us to have. Weird opening, but educational. But educational. So, so people with hamsters, and their ears are bigger than I thought they were. Oh, they they are? Maybe it's gerbils we're, you're thinking of that have small yeah. ears, like, by scale. So this, they're gonna look like mice. They're gonna look like mice, folks. It's almost Hamsters like they're related. You look a lot like mice. <laughs> yeah, they've they've gotta be what they eat is. Um, but appropriate for library streams, right? I mean, we're like, we're keeping it relatively clean. Um, it's mostly the the lesson about <laughs> malapropisms, and I'll leave, I'll even put it up here again. Is the fact that I accidentally said, read something as dumber than a bag of hammers as dumber than a bag of hamsters. So, if you consider insulting the intellect of hamsters inappropriate for library streams, fair. I will, I will talk to my boss about that. <laughs> That's your word of the day, is a malapropism, and you can use this example, and we can all have it catch on, so eventually it will no longer be a malapropism. Yes. <laughs> it'll just be a- it'll just be a propism, I guess. I guess that makes sense. I, I guess propism is the actual term for what it is. See, now- What's supposed to be? Now I have to look up if propism is a word. Or are we malappropriating propis propism Whoa. as a word? Wow. Huh. <laughs> no, not priapism, which would be inappropriate for a library stream. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'll let you guys look that one up. Um, now, propism is not a word, but proprism is a word, which is a 
In geometry of four dimensions or higher, a proprism is a polytope resulting from the Cartesian product of two or more polytopes, each of two dimensions or higher. Look, I'm highly educated. I have no idea what that meant. <laughs> so we're just, I'm just, we're just gonna go back to our lovely, dumb bag of hamsters. <laughs> Which I am love of drawing. I mean, they're very cute. Very cute. They're very dumb. Yeah. <laughs> they're like... They're... <laughs> oh no. This is gonna be, again, a um, rodent slander. They are the, the himbos <laughs> of, <laughs> of the pet world, I guess. Would you dare to say they are the hambos? You got me. You got me. They are indeed the hambos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And they like to do ham boning. Oh boy. They do. <laughs> now, by contrast, I want to. Have you heard of. I think it was called G. No, I guess, yes, by contrast. I think there was G-Force, which was, I think, a children's movie about, like, hyper-intelligent gerbils. Is it gerbils or guinea pigs? Guinea pigs. It might have been guinea pigs. But they, um... I watched it, but I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, I... I think I've seen it circulate through the library a few times. And I, it, you know, it's like the weird super spy rodents. So these, um, <laughs> the, this bag of hamsters would not be capable no. of, of, of such incredibly difficult maneuvers as, you know, in the Mission Impossible and Spire drop down from the ceiling, which I assume to happen. These hamsters, hamsters would be in that universe akin to the seagulls in Finding Nemo. <laughs> I just, I'm, I'm not sure what they would chant though. I have no idea. Like, what are hamsters like? I mean, sh sugar, sugar water, <laughs> sleeping. That sounds like hummingbirds. Oh boy. Alright. Time time for the looking stuff up on the internet again. Fact five day. Hamster likes. Do what do hamsters love the most? Apples, pears, wow. strawberries, and bananas. But they are treats, basically. I like treats. I mean, that's kind of the point of treats, is you're supposed to like them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You did such a good job having characterization for this bag of hamsters, I gotta say. Listen, I loved her point faces, and <laughs> this was just... It was just, you just let me off my leash, pretty much. Yeah, <laughs> yes, because I was, I was being more librarian than I was artist in this case. <laughs> but you know what, that's okay. I know how much you, you, you know, love doing this. We like learning, folks. <laughs> we, we like learning. This, yes, this is the... <laughs> my dedication to education. It's the only reason why anybody would watch this over much better streams of the same subgenre. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, other streams are used, still using the hammer thing. I know, right? We're we're next wave here. You know, we're we're the hmm, we're the budding edge. There you go. It's a new. There you go. It's a new malapropism for you, friends. <laughs> Oh my god, they're so adorable. They're so dumb. <laughs> they have so much to learn. They have, so, they have so much to learn. They're just making their way in the world, you know? 
roly poly like. And they have the weird clear crystal ball thing they have run around in. <sighs> Question why are these hamsters in a bag? Why are these hamsters in a bag? <laughs> this is. This is a mystery. Who put them in there? Who put, I hope they put themselves in there. They are super dumb, so they might have done that. <laughs> yeah, that it might have, you know, it, it might have just been, they were like, oh yeah, this is definitely uh, where my cage is. Let's, let's go in there. Let's go it's in probably there. full of snacks. Yes, it's probably full of strawberries and bananas, according to... The internet, I guess. <laughs> oh man. Okay, yes, yeah, so let's. <laughs> I. I love them. <laughs> I love this dumb, dumb, dumb bag of hamsters. Dumb, dumb, stupid bag of hamsters. But just, it's so cuddly and, and entertaining. <laughs> oh, they're so fat. Mm hmm. Wow. This rules. Don't open a bag of hamsters. Oh my god. Alright. So I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna take <laughs> take a picture of our darling yes, please. bag of hamsters. I don't I really I don't think I'm gonna get over this anytime soon. <laughs> it's wonderful. It's uh And then we'll we'll have to come up with a with a G Force like rival to the to uh with this bag of hamsters. The villains, they're the villains. Yes, yes. Well we'll we'll pull out the trope bag. Which has yeah. usually much fewer hamsters in it. Who's to say? Alright, I love you hamsters. I love you, you dumb, dumb bag of I'm gonna hamsters. miss them. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna miss them. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. We're gonna we're gonna make it work, alright. Everyone, everyone, gently hug the bag of hamsters. Gently, gently, folks. Gently! gently. Oh boy, alright. So we're going to Oh! Ah! There's just one ghost hamster. Bye. All right. <laughs> oh my god. Love you. Love you, dumb hamsters. Okay. So I'm gonna open up the trope bag, which right now should have approximately zero hamsters in it. So. But who we, can be sure? Yes. We, we. You never know. They might have infiltrated my trope bag. All right. Okay. Loosen up. Loosen up. All right. Trope one. Flash forward. Alright. Flash forward. Escape room. We'll maybe I do like those. Trial of Strength. Yes, yeah, so you're an expert on escape rooms, I would say. Mm -hmm. Yep, <laughs> I work at one. Yep. So. Honestly, escape room is very good for hamsters because. Is that not what they do? Oh, yeah. That's just like their existence is to eat, oh, yeah. sleep, they, and, and escape and from be their in prisons. a habit trail, which is like an escape room, but for hamsters. But for hamsters. But for hamsters. Um. So, did you have a question about flash forward? Flash forward is it's just like okay. It's just, it's just what it sounds like. I'm thinking lost here. Yeah, yeah. It's it's like some kind of some kind of time jump. Like um, now we're in the future. Yeah, exactly. And it's maybe usually only for a little bit of time. Um, now I'm trying to think of what if 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 flash forward falls under the category of the. <laughs> I bet you're wondering how I got here. <laughs> I think it might. Yeah. 
Yeah, because you, you start you start a story that way, and then you go back and you do the whole thing. And then you and then you flash back forward. Because flash mm -hmm. forward and flash back often go back together. But yes, the only other thing I can think of is that a flash forward for a d bag of dumb hamsters would just be like a, a graveyard. Oh no! Not, yeah. not that far. It's not that far real forward. Dark. Real dark. Oh no! <laughs> I mean, no. It's only the second incredibly dark thing I've said about hamsters. Okay. About hamsters today. Alright. So let's <clears throat> let's see. So we're thinking we're thinking some kind of escape habit trail situation, right? Mm -hmm. And then with our with our lovely, lovely dumb dumb bag of hamsters. So this the dumb bag of hamsters, I'm just gonna pretend that there's a bag here. They gotta you know, go on the wheel and whatnot. And so, I guess the the goal for them is to escape their habit trail. And in, the, in order to do that, there is a, a trial of strength is involved. Yes. Now. The trope of an escape room, are we talking about, like, just an escape, or are we talking about, like, what the movie did with escape rooms is, okay, it's just here to kill you. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so, escape room is a general trope. Now, it usually doesn't, uh, come into play unless there is significant peril. Mm -hmm. Now, my funny thought was that the hamsters are so dumb that they think the goal is to escape. Mm -hmm. When really, it's, you know, just their home. That's where they live, yeah. They should really be just hanging out. Yes. So what's a dangerous place out there. Yes, and so there, you know, there's, there's... I guess the trial of strength might be um, if there is a hostile gerbil faction, <laughs> um, <laughs> the attempt to open the gate, or you know, a a. I guess it wouldn't be a trial of strength if they're running on the wheel, but something something to that effect. So let me start. Let's start flushing out this here, uh... Escape room. Uh -huh. Yes, escape habit trail. Now, you can make it as sinister as you want, if you want it to be that the gerbils are evil, and are attempting to, you know, eternally doom the, the bag of hamsters into I don't know staying in the like the worst part of the, of yeah. the habit trail. I mean, I could just put like a, a gerbil right here in front. Oh yeah. So this is the this is the bag of hamsters that has been. <laughs> God, what? I'm saying it so many times it has it's like losing its meaning. And then I hear it, and then it becomes funny again. It becomes. <laughs> it's just a dumb bag of hamsters. It's just, just a dumb old bag of hamsters. <laughs> oh boy. God, you know what? Paul, you're being a real bag of hamsters today. Be like that. Be nice to Paul. He's not a bag of hamsters. Smart bag of hamsters. It's a very smart bag of hamsters, okay? It's a moderately intelligent bag of hamsters. Right, maybe we'll upgrade it to like a cloche of mice for intelligence. Cloche. Levels.
gosh, I'm like operating just... purely off of vague memory of what a habit trail looks like. Yeah, it's been a long time. I believe my siblings had both a gerbil and a hamster at one point. Mm -hmm. And they probably had that stuff. Yeah. I don't know, we'll be involved. I don't remember what it looked like. This, then, don't, this is, I don't know, this is another module, I guess. And there's gonna be, there has to be water somewhere. Oh, uh, yeah, one of those little, uh, mm -hmm. bottle. Yep. Bottle things. I'm just, I'm just gonna sketch in that there's gonna be flames going on. I know this looks like grass, but well, you know, this is the sketch. Thing. I'm just making sure that I don't have that. Okay, good. All right. Oh my gosh. So you, we're we're really rooting for the bag of hamsters, and not just because they're so cuddly and so dumb, but you know. We want we want them to escape because that would make them happy. But um, we also know that maybe they just they they just need a better part of the habit trail. They just don't understand. They just don't. They're you know they're living their hamster lives. I'm sure they all have very adorable names. Like I don't know. One of them's named Bubba, probably. Bubba C. Yeah, we're <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna keep this clean if we're competing with uh, you know G Force. We don't want uh, we don't want these actual hamsters to be in true peril. Right, so we need needs to be some bedding down there. Gonna editorialize, give them eyebrows even though they don't have any. <laughs> you know. I also yeah. assume that they're gonna be able to they're talk. Hamsters. Yeah. You know, it's it's a um, a hamster-like variant of um, the escaping from the fish tank subplot in Finding Nemo. And that's perfect. But with the twist being that no, they actually should just stay. Maybe the gerbil is in league with a. Uh, a very mean cat. Oh uh, yeah. Or is or is trying to get these these hamsters to escape so that they will be eaten by the cat, and so they can have the deluxe habit trail all to themselves. Dastardly. Dastardly. And put him in his in his orb of evil. His orb of evil. Hamsters have tails? Maybe that's the difference between hamsters and mice. Um, I believe they have very tiny tails. This looks like a job for research. Hamsters. Research. Activate. Hmm. Types of hamsters. Well, wow, you can buy a poster of the types of hamsters. Why am I surprised by this? Um. Oh, it looks like they more or less just have a badonk. Um, so... Oh my gosh, they are so squishy! Um... 
yeah, they don't really have much in the way of a tail. I think they just have very tiny tails. Yeah, that's the difference. That's the difference. Hamster tail. Do hamsters have tail? <laughs> it's a grammatical Where hamster tail, tail is. They have stubby tails. Okay, yep, I was right. So I didn't remember correctly. But they have very wee tails. Wee little tails. Wee, wee little tails. I just adore how fantastically characteristic the, the characterization you have on these on these hamsters, <laughs> <laughs> and the way that they're just squoshed in in so many places. Oh, it's very good. Dumb is fun. Dumb is fun. What can I say? Yep. lines down and we could do the fun part of coloring in all these habit trails but that truly is the fun part of the habit trails is all the different colors that they are all these colors yeah if i i'll be honest if i was a hamster it's just like going to one of those those uh little fun fun places when you're a kid oh like um <clears throat> when you go to uh like a play place Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. You know, one of those fun places. Yes, yes. We one of those fun places that you go. <laughs> Probably brainstorm some more hamster names. I just I just pulled Bubba out of a out of a hat out of my hat brain brain hat. Snorpy. Morpy. Snorpy. 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 Bubba. There's got to be like a cool one that's called like Ace. It's just a dude, bro. Yeah. It's got, you know, the streak of blonde hair going straight up or something. Now, if we were truly, um, how you say, basic, then we would, um, have it so that way there would only be one female hamster and you would be able to tell because it would be wearing a pink bow, but, um... We're not doing that, because that's basic. Ah, uh, yes. A la Smurfette. Yes, a la Smurfette. Looking at you, Smurfs. It's where we, they are just, you know... They all have different names and identities. And... Some of them just happen to be female. You don't need a bow to be able to tell that. Exactly, folks. You never heard of how fast hamsters breed? It's because there's both. It's because there's both. It takes, it takes two to Tonga. It takes a village. <laughs> it takes a village of hamsters to escape this horrible horrible um, death trap that's actually not a death trap, it's actually kind of just fun. <laughs> it's actually just a place. place. Oh my god, get out! So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, we're gonna fill this one with, uh, I guess, hay. Is there a hamster dance somewhere here? 
Good question. There could oh, be we could a, get a, like a little. Let's, let's look some credits, some end credits. Yeah, stuff. I was thinking like like at the finale, there would be a hamster dance. Come on, everybody. Oh my god. This is this is what the internet has done to our brains. Like that is something from what 15 years ago and was just a just a a bunch of gifs. Or gifs if you prefer. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they stole that song from Disney's Robin's Oh, I, I don't know these things. I mean... All I'm saying is if you play that and uh, the beginning opening credits, it's that but slowed down. What? Yep. Wow. Wow. Blown my mind. And blowing the, mm -hmm. the tiny minds of these tiny hamsters. Never get it. They'll never even understand. Nope. So maybe like a spot or a speckle? Or how about a spaghetti? Just, just, just go for it. I like spaghetti. Yeah. As a name. And also as a pasta. Hamsters in something. I go hamsters. Um, yeah, that's a good, that's a good title here. You were working with the escape room, escape room trope. But uh, I think it needs to be something involving like habit or you know. Cage. Not Nicholas Cage, unless he is voicing with the hamsters. Oh, he should. I mean, he probably would. Hamsters uncaged. <laughs> Terrible over here. With the, with the top hat, so you know it's extra evil. Oh, yeah. Gerbil's gotta have, like, a completely overwrought name. Like, you know. Dr. Fluffy Buns the Eighth. Something like that. My father and my forefather. We all hated Amster. <laughs> they encroached upon my domain. <laughs> I will be the one to be This is my realm! I don't know why it's, you know, so posh, but, you know, whatever. Yeah. Just a little, little entrance for this here bag of hamsters. <laughs> oh my god. Entrance today. One double notice.
friends, how does perspective work? Not perspective. are getting in the zone and you can tell because we're getting very quiet. <laughs> it's true. Wait, I'm wait. sorry, I forgot you all were here. <laughs> I was just- I'm sorry folks, I'm drawing a gerbil. <laughs> An evil one? Yeah. It's very important. The squishy face here. Perfect. I love it. That was my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, we could get uh, Hasselhoff to get a track for this. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, our hamsters. See, unfortunately, my brain has just gone to Creed. Oh. You're a bag of hamsters. You're a bag of hamsters. <laughs> You're a bag of hamsters. Tell a Creed. I guess it depends on whatever is trending at the time. You could have one of the Hampshire's names be Creed. That's that's true. Could could be could be Creed or could be Scott Stapp. Who knows? <laughs> Who can say? Something. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we have four names. We need two more names for our lovely hamsters. But, um. What do we have so far? Snorpy, Bubba, Ace, Spaghetti. Uh. Peaches. Peaches. Peaches is a good one. I'll put peaches down here. One, two, three, four, five. We just need one more. All right, we'll get there. We'll get there. I'm just gonna keep adding modules onto this horrifying habit trail. Just make it real weird. 
who knows what's going on in any given parts. Who knows, maybe even we couldn't escape from it. Oh man. It would be like, you know, the cube, but... Yeah! But hamsters. But hamsters. hamsters. I guess this is a ladder? I don't... <laughs> It's gotta be the most absurd looking, you know, over the top. Habit trend in existence. I mean, I keep, the names I keep thinking of are like all just food. Name just came to mind, Twinkie. Twinkie? <laughs> uh -huh. I do enjoy Twinkie, but we already have spaghetti and peaches. I was just yeah. thinking like, 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 like Zip or Zippo or Zippy. Like Zip. Zip. Zip, the quick one. Yes. Extremely fast. Very dangerous. Not to be trusted. Just... Who even knows what this stuff is? Who even knows? Not them. <laughs> not them. Definitely not them. I'm guessing that the, this one here squashed up his peaches. Because the, yeah. the shapes look a little bit, the, the white shapes look a little bit like peaches. That was peaches. Uh, I feel like Snorpy and Bubba gotta be the ones staring at each other over there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we can do that. And maybe, maybe. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, so then we got like, maybe Zip's the one, Zip or Ace are the one hanging off, like the super athletic cool one. Yeah, I was thinking Ace be the one up there, just, just being cool. Zip, I guess, could be the one in the wheel. Getting out zipped. Yep, yeah, that, that it could very very well be. Thought you thought it was fast, not fast enough. Spaghetti panicking in the box over yes. there. Bag of hamsters in. Process. What's going on? What's going on over there? I'm, uh, I'm, I'm trying to come up with some kind of pun or malapropism based on habit trail. Gotcha. Um, or, you know, cage. I'm about to spite all their rage. <laughs> they are still just, just hamsters in a cage. Uh, yep. <laughs> I, well, the thing is that I don't think any of our lovely dumb bag of hamsters are particularly rageful. I think they the closest really are. one is certainly, um, I, w I would think our, you know, very cruel, very evil, uh, our gerbil friend over here. Why will... Escape from I 
mean, this is a dumb one, but I just have to say it anyway. Yeah. That's a play on Escape from New York. You could just call it Escape from New Dork. <laughs> womp womp. Yep. Bag of hamsters in the quest for the Holy Habit Trail. I don't know. The Holy Trail is funny. Mm -hmm. It's like the Holy Grail. The quest for the Holy Trail. Sure. And it's holy with an e an e y. The quest of the Holy Trail. You could say. Yeah. Probably shouldn't have put that on the color layer, but oh well, there's a new layer coming in. <laughs> there's a new layer in time. All right, now we can start start filling it up with the uh, fun colors. Oops, that is definitely not a fun color. <laughs> oh, fun. No oh, fun. All right, let's make this make this a real big. Here we go. Yeah. dumber than a bag of hamsters, but you know, they try. They do try. They try their best. It's my great big folks. <laughs> this could very easily be it have a tie-in with um the reboot of um Legends of the Hidden Temple. <laughs> yeah, oh, oh. Amster Game Show. Oh. Hamster game show, clap, 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 clap. <laughs> oh boy. You gotta, yeah, that's what happens when you put things on the wrong layer, friends. Everyone drink, I said I put something on the wrong layer. Please don't, don't, do, don't do that yet. And I was just thinking that you hadn't done that yet, and I haven't painted the screen entire color yet. We were on a roll, folks. We were on a roll. Well, you know, it all all good things had to come to an end, and they did right at the end of the stream. <laughs> <laughs> an effort is always made. That's right, folks. As long as you try your hardest. Like the dumb bag of hamsters. You know, it's kind of kind of like a bless your heart situation. I'm gonna need you to color the tube over top of peaches, because when I color it, it just changes the color of peaches. Oh, I will. I certainly. Okay. I yeah. will get. I will give peaches yeah. the respect that that they deserve. You get... This is my favorite. You know, there aren't millions of peaches, peaches for me. There's just the one peach. But that's all we need. That's all we need is one peaches. In this case, this peach, th th these peaches do not come in a can so much as they come in a bag. A bag of a bag. hamsters. A bag of stupid hamsters. <laughs> 
someone's going to like hear this and be like, what were they what were they doing that day? Are they on the The thing is that like I got it helper prisons, folks. I got you know, I got enough sleep. It's just, you know, sometimes sometimes the goofy juice hits you and you say things weird like goofy juice. <laughs> No, you know there is more to this the holy trail than just the weird bits that we have trotted here. These ain't your dad's have a trail. Nope. Um, these aren't your your parents bag of bag of hamsters either. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Not not your average not your average bag of hamsters. I don't know what that means, but I like it. But I, I like it. Alright, let's, let's reconstitute the very poorly done uh, bag of hamsters. Just be there question. with the holy. I missed that till just now. The holy trail. Yup. Nyuck, nyuck, nyuck. Nyuck, nyuck, nyuck. You know, I had to keep, I, you know, our word of the day kids, Malapopa. So, you know. Say it with us, folks. Malapopa. So, you know, you gotta, you gotta make sure you get that in. And I'm just, I'm going to just spitball one last thing, is that they heard that there's cheese. That's that's another why it's kind of like a holy grail is that the, they heard that there's cheese. They heard that there's cheese. We don't know if there's cheese or not. They heard their cheese was involved. Yeah, yeah. there 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 is a rumor that there is cheese. Oh wow. Well, I hope the evil overlords are satisfied that we managed to come up with this. <laughs> they better be pleased. This is genius. I mean... This, this is genius a bag of hamsters. I, yeah, which is not very, but it's enough. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Oh, yes, good call on, on giving the um, evil Jorval a, a scar, because otherwise <laughs> we would have no way of knowing that the... Nope. The, the gerbil with the top hat and the glasses. You know, you gotta make some concessions to the producers. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, they just, they just want to be producers and see their names and lights. Uh, Alright, I'm, 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 I'm taking, taking a picture, <laughs> sending it to the evil overlords. Snap that shot. Snap, snap in the shot. Absolute gold. Absolute gold. Oh, yeah, that's... It's something. <laughs> it is something. It is indeed something. Well, 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 friends, I hope that you enjoyed 
us falling into the dumb bag of hamsters <laughs> for an entire hour. Oh and I hope you learned something. I hope I hope you did. <laughs> I I hope you did. If at very at the very least you learned that bag of hamster should be a phrase. Mm -hmm. it is start using it. Every one of you start using it. Uh, absolutely. All all Tell five friends. Yes. <laughs> we will we will be back. Um Sans bag of hamsters, maybe, I don't know. Um I Who believe can stay? on the 23rd and if you are indeed living in the pittsburgh related area if you come to moon township public library this saturday and sunday we are having a book slash bake sale we are selling more than books we're also selling movies cds dvds at all it's our, we're doing a little spring sale where you can also get baked goods everything's real cheap Please support the library because the evil overlords won't, won't huh? by by coming and picking up some stuff and you know enjoying Get whatever. Some baked good and some booked goods. Yes, thank you. I have to say it, folks. I have thank to you. say it. There you go. I'll be going now. He nailed it. He truly did. Yeah, we'll be back on um, in two weeks on May 23rd. So go and see that next Monday at 8 p.m. I will be I will be doing Minecraft. So you can join me for some Mooncraft. You can uh, just watch me die a bunch of times, or join me on the server. We can you can apply for the server too. Just great, great to do. All right, and enjoy your evening, you. Lovely, lovely bag of hamsters. <laughs> <laughs>